hi everyone welcome to my channel today we are going to be looking at the characters and the roles that each character play in the novel oil long water by helen habila please subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that you will get notified when the video on things and the literary devices used in the novel is uploaded we are going to be analyzing the character Rufus uh, Rufus is the major character in the novel and it was through Rufus that we get to know about the entire actions and the, the game between the militants and the government of Nigeria and how Isabel Flood was kidnapped Rufus is a journalist uh, searching for a story that will place him in the upper tier of reporters and to earn reputations and gain favor from his editors and even the chairman of the Daily Star newspaper. He was excited to bring big stories, especially in the area where other characters or other journalists are not much concerned about. So he was on a journey from Port High Court at the beginning of the novel was on the journey from Port High Court to the Niger Delta Creek to go and get story about a woman, a British woman kidnapped. The name of the British woman is Isabel Flood, who was kidnapped and then want to also interview her after she's released. So she, on their journey, Rufus was going along with uh, his mentor called Zach. And along the way, they encounter a lot of uh, environmental degradation and the pollution of the water that is if, that is where the title of the novel is derived from oil and water and they witness the death of birds as a result of the polluted uh, environment the death of uh, animals and the death of uh, even human being and also how the land was unproductive in their journey rufus was very concerned about the state of the environment and also the plight of the masses who were living in the villages where oye are being explored so oye in the nigerian oye in nigeria was more like a blessing at the beginning of the independence but towards the 21st century it seems to be like a cause and rufus was on a journey to know more about how the exploration of oil has uh, bring attendant destruction to ecological shape and also to the people living in the niger delta through rufus we discover that the kidnapped woman isabel flood was not actually kidnapped rather the kidnapping was arranged between Isabel Flood and the driver called Salomon. And later, the, the kidnapping get out of hand that the militant were using it to bargain for what they want from the government. So Rufus was concerned that, okay, he's going to interview the woman and bring great stories. And also, we saw a lot of internal guilt uh, along the way when Rufus was talking about his sister the sister is called boma boma married to john and then had there was fire explosion which disfigured the face of boma through the burning of oil and also we realized that uh, boma got divorced the husband john left her so rufus was also worried about the sister situation and how he was not able to stand for his sister in the time of uh, her travail another character we are going to be looking at is called zach zach is a foremost journalist a very popular journalist and also a mentor to rufus in fact rufus served as an apprentice to to zach and zach has published a lot of interesting stories and one of it was uh, the story about him befriending a prostitute in a beach in a bar beach and the story sold well and uh, brought a lot of readers and audience to the daily star newspaper where zach works and also zach have an editor called john becker who is also the owner or the chairman of the daily star newspaper who also was very impressed and satisfied with the works of uh, zach 
And also, we were told through the eyes of the narrator that Zach is giving to alcohol. He is alcoholic and also there was a nameless sickness shutting down his internal organs, which we are not told about. So his travail were from both two sides, from alcohol and also from another sickness. And he is aging. He's either is an already an elderly journalist who may probably uh, retire in recent time. But to the end of the novel, uh, we would not see where he submit either retirement letter or resignation letter. So we saw that uh, he has earned a lot of reputation working for Daily Star newspaper, and he has published a lot of uh, stories that made the newspaper sell, sold the newspaper, uh, Daily Star newspaper, and also that has brought a lot of trending issues. As you know, the story he published that trend on. Um, media for several uh, days or months that ending a lot of popularity and uh, reputation. Another character in the novel is Isabel Flood. Isabel Flood is a British woman and the wife of James Flood. Uh, he was kidnapped by his driver and the name of the driver is uh, uh, Salomon. And the driver in, conv in, com uh, in arrangement with others which are militant, the driver arranged with militant, and then Isabel Flood was uh, kidnapped. And Isabel Flood, we had the kidnapping was concocted, was concocted by her and alongside Salomon, so that Isabel and Salomon will get back to James Flood, the British engineer who is the husband of Isabel, because. James Flood had sexual affair with Coco. Coco is the fiancé of Salomon, the driver of Isabel Flood. And the sexual affair with Coco by James Flood angered both Salomon and Isabel Flood. And both of them were not so happy with it to the extent that James impregnated uh, Salomon's fiancé, Coco. So the kidnapping quickly quickly go out of hand which led to Isabel being shuffled back and forth between militant group and uh, causing chahos for the people on the island of Irikefe which is caught in the center of the, con uh, of the conflict. So the militant used the kidnapping of Isabel to bargain with the government of Nigeria so that uh, they can also have some things or part of the national cake as it is referred to in Nigeria from the government. Another character in the novel is James Flood. James Flood is a British uh, oil worker and a petroleum engineer uh, whose wife is captured by the militant. Oh, he is the first to approach Zack. He approached Zack, the popular journalist, to go on a journey in an attempt to find out the real situation, to investigate the real situation that uh, Tramvas about the kidnapping of his wife. So we discover that uh, he is very amorous and he had extramarital affairs. He slept with Solomon's fiancée Coco and he impregnated her and that angered both uh, Isabel, who is Jimmy's wife, and also Solomon, who is Isabel's uh, driver and they get back to James by making arrangement of kidnapping of Isabel so that James will be forced to pay heavy uh, ransom ransom for both uh, the militant and uh, Salomon and even Isabel also will benefit from it but it does not turn out as arranged because the militant took over and uh, they saw uh, Isabel as a good catch and they were using it. In fact, Isabel was being shuffled from one militant group to another. After the one militant group get hold of what they want, another militant group will take hold of her and it get out of hand and then compounded the conflict. Another character is Salomon. Salomon is Isabel's driver and uh, we can refer to him as the original kidnapper of Isabel. Who made the arrangement? He was the one who made the arrangement with the militant 
to hold Isabel hostage. And uh, he was loyal to Isabel and the husband of Isabel, Jimmy's uh, flood until James began a relationship with uh, Solomon's fiancé, Coco, which does not go down well with uh, Solomon. And in a way to get back to, oh, to James is to kidnap the wife, or probably kidnap even James himself, if, if it was possible. But that was not possible. So the arrangement to kidnap Isabel was made by Solomon in alongside with other militants and even uh, Isabel to get back at uh, James' flood the husband of uh, Isabel and the British uh, uh, petroleum engineer. Note that in the Nigerian Niger Delta region, kidnapping of a uh, British uh, or less any other expatriate, especially those from outside Nigeria, those who are not citizens of Nigeria, is a big business because when some people are kidnapped, they use the they, they, they charge for ransom in dollars. And we have seen that a lot in Nigeria. And even currently in 2022, the kidnapping is still going on. Kidnapping of expatriates, where a British or a Lebanese or a Pakistani Pakistan, uh, Pakistan, uh, uh, expatriate will be uh, kidnapped. And then, in another in attempt to release it, the government will be charged a sum of money by the militant and they will be the militant will be threatened that okay if the money is not paid they are going to kill the the, the kidnapper expatriate and as a result of that they earn money from the expatriate from the government and from even the companies that uh, the expatriate are working for another character in the novel is boma boma is reform sister and also he is the wife of john Boma had relationship with John right from childhood. They grew up together and they were friends for a long time before John proposed to marry Boma. And then John married her. And then a tragedy struck. She suffered two tragedies. One of which is that there was explosion in her home and the oil caught fire and disfigured her. It was even difficult to recognize her. She was severely burnt. And the second tragedy was that as a result of the situation and the challenges that Boma was facing, the husband, John, left her. And uh, it was another travail. She was not well. And then the husband has left her. Taking care of herself was difficult. And later, we discovered that the brother, Rufus, felt so guilt that uh, he was not standing for the sister Boma when Boma was facing terrible challenges, facing injuries and burnt through bonds that happened during the explosion and then uh, facing divorce and being left alone by the husband. So Boma suffered greatly in the novel. Another character, we have other characters in the novel. One of then is John. John is the Boma's ex-husband. And then he was a childhood friend of Boma and Rufus. Then we have Coco. Coco is Solomon's uh, fiancé who had sexual affair with James Flood, the husband of Isabel Flood. And then James Flood impregnated her. Another character is Tamuno. Tamuno is Zach's um, Rufus guide when Zach and Rufus were going to the creek of the Niger Delta militant, it was Tamuno that was guiding them. Tamuno was the one interpreting and uh, talking to the people in the Niger Delta language for them to be able to give audience to Zach and Rufus. And then we also discovered in the novel that another character is uh, Michael. Michael is Tamuno's son. He was so happy to see Zach and Rufus, and uh, he wanted to go with Zach and Rufus to uh, to Port Harcourt when Zach and Rufus were going back to Port Harcourt. And another one, another character in the novel is Becky Johnson. Becky Johnson is Zach's editor, 
and the owner of the Daily Star magazine or newspaper that Zach works with. He is also happy with Zach because Zach has published a lot of interesting stories that uh, made the Daily Star newspaper to go around or to sell away to be popular. Another character is Karibi. Karibi is a friend of Tamuno and Karibi owns a shop in the first village where Zach and Rufus stop at. And Karibu Karibu is well known to be aiding and abetting the activities of the militant. So the villagers accused Karibi of abetting or promoting the activities of the militant around the village and in the creek. So we are in a subsequent video we are going to be discussing the themes in the novel, the use of literary devices in the novel. And also we are going to be discussing some of the atmosphere and the nature of the Niger Theta uh, Greek um, villages presented in the novel. So make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell so that uh, you will get notified when uh, we upload the videos on the teams and on the literary devices. Have a good day.